welcome to my channel. Today I am doing another vlog, another college vlog. I am currently on my way to one of my classes, so make sure you subscribe to my channel. And yeah. So today is Tuesday the 25th. I am on my way to my psychology class, the class that I actually hate going to every single day. It is so frustrating. Well, it's not frustrating. It's just, it's stressful. I don't, it's so long. Okay, let me get my thoughts together before I start talking. I'm going to my psychology class today and that the class is so long. It it's not it for me. Like, I wish I could not go to that class. My major is actually, well, technically, I'm a lib, my, um, degree that I'm going towards is liberal arts, but what I want to do is psychology, and I'm going to my psychology class, and I always hate going to my psychology class, so it is very confusing what I want to go into is psychology so it's kind of a bad thing that I don't want to go to my psychology class and it's a bad thing that I want to study for it but it's just the thing that I hate I always have psychology classes that are one day a week my la my first this is my second psychology class and it's one day a week my first psychology class was also one day a week which is so horrible it's so hard to do your work when it's only one day a week. So, today we're supposed to be doing a film an analysis, and I really hope to God that she does not make us into groups, like put us into groups. I don't want to do a group project today. Like, I am such a shy person that I never want to do a group project, but especially today, I'm not trying to do no type of group project at all like i've been having a bad like week for my mental health oh my god it's just i've been so i've been doing so bad lately i'm trying to get better at that that's why i put on a full face of makeup today because i just want to try to focus on myself and make myself better make myself happier because my mental health is like trash right now so yeah, so I'm about to be in a very crowded part of my area, so I will talk to you when I get out of class. So I just got out of class. I drove to somewhere where nobody's in the parking lot because the craziest thing just happened to me. So anyways, campus security came around and anyways, so basically... We were watching this film about a lobotomy, or lobotomies in general, and basically a lobotomy is where they take, it was back in like, I don't know, 50s maybe, maybe before that, it was around that time, and um, they would take like an ice scraper for like an old refrigerator, it's like a long thing, like maybe like this long, and it would have like a, a basically like a pick at the end and they would put it into your eye socket and then tap it with a hammer and it would basically like hit your brain and do something wrong to your brain and i am very sensitive to that kind of those kinds of things so anything that has to do with an eye i like an eyeball i pass out so i almost passed out and I like when I was in high school we were looking at a diagram it was literally just a diagram it wasn't even an actual picture it was a diagram of a cow's eyeball and I almost passed out so this is like 10 times worse so I'm like I'm just gonna lay my head down like I'm just gonna lay my head down on my table so my professor taps on my desk and calls me out of the room it's like get out I'm like Shit, I hope I can fucking walk because I don't want to pass out on this floor 
and then everyone be like, wow, th like this girl just from my class just passed it on the floor randomly. So she calls me out of the classroom and she was basically saying like, oh, you look, she was basically saying like, oh, you look tired, like clearly you're sleepy. And I was like, no, like I'm on the verge of passing out. And she's, you know, like, why is that? <laughs> I can't remember exactly what happened, even though it just happened a few minutes ago. But um, I was very much on the verge of passing out because of this. And she was like, do you need medical assistance? I was like, no. Okay, so. Okay, so. Now I'm at the mall because campus security literally, like I was in the back of the parking lot where there was like, like 10 cars kept like circling around me and I'm like, can you leave me alone? Anyways, so my teacher pulled me out of the room and I was just talking to her and she was, she asked me, you know, like, you have to watch this film. You know, I'm concerned about your health and I'm like. I'll be fine, you know, I don't need medical t attention or anything like that, you know, I don't need to go to the hospital, I'm alright, I just, so she said, you know, what do you want to do, she said you can go outside and get some fresh air, so that's what I did, I went outside, get, got some fresh air, I came back in, and it is so embarrassing for your teacher, for your professor, like, I'm not, a, I'm not a kid, I'm like, I'm a kid, but I'm not, like, a teenager in high school where I need to be spoken to out in the hallway, so it's kind of embarrassing that my, t my professor had to speak to me out in the hallway, that is just really embarrassing to me, and it's just embarrassing because it's like, no one knows what's going on, so when you come back into the classroom, everyone's like, ooh, like, what did she get in trouble for, like, what did she do? Just like, mind your business, you know, just mind your business. I'm gonna have like 45 different camera angles because everyone keeps driving by. But um, then I went back in the classroom, I finished the, the, the film. Every time they showed pictures of a lobotomy, I had to look down because I didn't want to pass out. I was feeling a lot better, but I didn't want to pass out. So, um, so after class, Please don't come over here. Thank you. So after class, she um, called me to her desk again. She asked me if I was doing fine because she was concerned about me driving, you know, being like feeling like I'm going to pass out, told her I was all right. And then she asked me, um, she said, you know, I would like you to participate more in class. You know, why are you not participating? And I was like, well, I'm kind of shy. I'm, you know, on the shyer side. And it's just like, like when I, I was like, like I'm so done with today. Like I was like almost crying. Like my voice, you know how your voice cracks and your voice sounds weird? I was like, you know, I'm kind of shy. And like my voice was all weird. Oh, today was so embarrassing. So. She asked me, you know, what are you doing here? What are you doing in a psychology class? You know, are you a psych major? I was like, yes, I'm a psych major. <sighs> so now that was my embarrassing day with my teacher. It just, it, that part, like the part of her, please don't park next to me. Like. The part of her asking me if I was a psych major was literally so embarrassing because it seems like she doesn't seem like I could do it, which I'm not, I'm not going to knock her for that because yeah, I almost just passed out, but like, it seems like she didn't believe that I was supposed to be there and that's just kind of, she didn't mean it in a rude way and I know that, but it was just like, kind of like, I don't want to say it was disrespectful, but like, could you imagine could you imagine being in a math class and something told, like, I don't know, like being, you're a math major, you're in a math class, and your teacher calls you up to the front, asks you, why are you here? And they're like, you know, I don't see you being a teacher one day. Like, how do you think that would make you feel? So that was my day. Um, probably not going to film anymore today so I'll see you tomorrow
as his car drives past me and embarrasses the shit out of me. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully I have a better day. And yes, please have a better day. Please God. Because she was like genuinely concerned about my health and could see that I'm not well. <laughs> and I was literally just talking about it, like earlier today that my mental health has been bad. So, you know, it's been a great day. I'm going to get home. I'm going to eat something. <sighs> Hopefully feel better. She kept saying like, you looked hor you, do you looked bad. I could tell you were ill. You looked like you were sweating. Like, <sighs> she didn't mean it in a mean way. I understand that, but it's just like... It's just a great day. Okay. Oh, it is cold in here, girl. It is cold in here. Last night it snowed, so let's look at the snow. It snowed. Look at the snow. Anyways, last night it snowed and it's really freezing. I don't even know what today is. Wednesday the 26th, I think. I'm wearing no makeup, so that's why I look really bad. Hopefully today we're gonna have a good day. I'm going to my Spanish class and then I'm <coughs> God damn. <coughs> I should have taken allergy medicine. So we're going to my Spanish class and then we don't have anything else really to do today. But my family is Catholic and today I'm pretty sure is technically Ash Wednesday. So I might be going to church today. I really don't want to because I'm not a church person but yeah that's what we're doing today I have to clean off my car and yeah so hopefully we have a good day I have like 10 minutes to get to school so I don't have enough time but it's all right just I want to have a good day today so I am hopefully no one is near me so I am Oh, now in my car, it is still snowing outside. So it is Thursday. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm, well, I'm on my way to work, and it's sno it still snowed. So I have to clean off my car again and I'm gonna be late. So I'll see you when I get out of work at five o'clock. Okay, so today is Friday. I don't know what the date is. Oh, it's the 28th, I actually do know the date. So today is Friday the 28th. I'm at work again, of course. Anyway, I came to the park, well, I came to work literally 40 minutes early so I could have a minute to talk to the camera and I literally could not find a parking spot and then I was waiting for this fucking parking spot for literally 10 minutes and this bitch would not fucking move and that shit was pissing me the fuck off but anyways besides that point um yeah I don't really know what I have to say oh so on Thursday I had class in the morning but I didn't go because it's been very snowy here recently and I had that class with my friend and she said that she didn't want to go to class. So I was like, well, if you're not going to go, I'm not going to go because why would I want to suffer alone? So instead of going to class, I just slept in and then I went to work. And yesterday I gained um, another subscriber. So now I have two subscribers. I don't know. I just want to share that. <laughs> I just want to share that. So... Yeah, that's been my day so far. Uh, I haven't really done anything. I really want to start posting two times a week. There's a person coming. Pretend like we're dead. Okay, why is that always lopsided? So anyways, um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I really want to start posting two times a week, but I don't know what to post. And... I don't want to keep just doing vlogs because like that's kind of like repetitive oh my god what the fuck i don't even care anymore bro people keep walking by so i don't want to keep posting vlogs because like it's repetitive and like i don't know i just want to do something more than just vlogging myself because like when i vlog i don't really do anything but i don't know man 
Okay. I'm going to sit right in the sun because the sun's like right there. Okay. So, good morning. Today is Saturday and I've already been pissed off today. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I norm I was Oh my god, let me think. Let me get my key out. Okay. So, I was not supposed to work today, but um my sister had some I work with my sister. So, my sister had something to do. So she had to take the day off, so I took her shift, and I regret taking her shift because driving here, there was, how much, I think there was two people who pissed me the fuck off. It doesn't matter. People always piss me off while I'm driving, and, um, my car, of course, has something wrong with it, again. It's, that really pisses me off so this man is staring at me like can you fucking mind your business bitch anyways so my car needs to go into the shop again and it's just I've been like avoiding it for so long because I know what's wrong like when I'm like backing up or so, like when I'm backing up and I'm trying to turn my wheel to go forward again my front wheel will just like spin and it'll show on my dashboard that I don't have traction so it's like it's done that before like that was one of the first repairs I did to my car a year ago and it's doing it again and that shit is gonna be expensive and I'm still trying to pay off other repairs so I'm very happy about that my day is going great so far <laughs> my god like so, so far my day has not been great, but I just have to, I've been saving for a new car because this one breaks down all the time and it's very old and it literally almost has 200,000 miles. So it's very old and I really, I've been saving for a new car for, since like 2018. So, like, since September of 2018. So, it's almost been two years. And I just have to keep telling myself that I just have to keep working and just, oh my god, to keep coming to work. So, I have to stay positive because, shit, my life feels, like, so fucking irritating right now. Because this is just, like, bro. So... Um, yeah, so, this man is still staring at me, like, what do you want, sir? Like, what do you fucking want? Right now, I'm just keep, I just keep trying to tell myself that I'm gonna have a good day. I'm gonna have a good day. That's what I always try to do when something pisses me off. This early in the morning, like, literally, the first thing I got in my car, this guy pissed me off. Like, I have, like road rage and like I just get pissed off so easily like I'm very irritable so I get pissed off really easily so I just keep trying to tell myself you're gonna have a good day Emily you're gonna have a good day don't worry you're gonna have a good day and like hopefully I can manifest a good day because so far it's been trash but I keep telling myself that you need to keep working so you can get yourself a new fucking car and then you don't have to get repairs every few fucking months hopefully People? Yeah, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna hopefully clock in a few minutes early because, bitch, I need a new fucking car because shit. Oh my god, I've been waiting for so fucking long and I'm tired of waiting. So I am so glad that I am working today. This is probably the end of the vlog, so subscribe if you haven't, like this video, and thank you for watching. And I really appreciate it. And hopefully this video come, goes up on Saturday. So thank you for watching and watching my other videos. It made me happy. Thank you. <laughs>